Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the Upper Quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it. But they couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah. They prefer to get plastered on free beer. What is it with this Valentino? He's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end, and then early in the morning he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, go find some work, preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. Yes.
What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Yes. There's barely a scratch on you. And I have more important things to do than to talk to you. Show me your wares. Put away the just you wait, you some bitch. Oh, man, my head! Wait a minute! Well, what have we here? Have you no manners? That's disgusting! Oh, is this filthy rabble! Haven't you a job where you ought to be? But I suppose no one would miss a down-at-heel fellow like you, hey? Well, if you had as much gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. Hey! He simply talks too much. I met Valentino. And? I gave him a sound beating. <laughs> he deserved it. Here, I found this ring on him when our little disagreement had been settled. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who beats him up. I've got my own opinion about that. Valentino was unable to pay his bar tab last night. He was blathering something about having been robbed and paying me later, obviously. Really? And what did you do? Well, I, I gave him a good thrashing. What else? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Here, take this ring. What? You must all leave everything here. I don't understand. It used to belong to Valentino. You're welcome to pass it on to the next person who tans his hide. We can only wait and see. That's an open secret. Oh, uh, what's up?
Hey, you! I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice. Provided the other masters agree. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. Hey, you! Hey, what's up? Well, yeah, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? You're working for the paladins? Well, yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. At the moment, everything is quiet. How are things with the orcs? No reason to worry. We in the City Guard and the Paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh. Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. They're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is held by the paladins. <laughs> Not even a meat bug could get through there. <laughs> Hear ye, and how due to the generals furthermore, any contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly forbidden. 